Hello, and welcome to this part of the pond where it's the bullfrog. Last night, I watched Argyle. And Argyle is about a book author who discovers that everything she's written has been real. And these spy agencies read her manuscript for her latest book. And people are suspicious. It just happened. And they want to know what's going to happen next. I need her to write the next chapter. Everything is unhinged. She doesn't know who to trust. And what puts things even more on edge, there's only one person by the name of Aiden, this other spy, and he's trying to do his best to say, You trust me! But this guy is a complete stranger. Can we trust him? Can our main character risk her life in trusting him? And there's twists and turns galore. And that is the story of Argyle. The pros? It's editing. In the beginning, they really went heavy on their editing where in the middle of Sam Rockwell fighting, suddenly it's Henry Cavill Hall fighting that same fight. So... The choreographer and the editor went all in. It's that good. Don't worry about logic. If you want just to have fun dump, this is the highlight of the movie. And they did a big budget into this. And all the actors are giving their best. No one's being lazy about it. They're all in. And one of the big pros, Catherine O'Hare. She is really good in this movie. Well, it's Catherine O'Hare. She's one of the best actresses out there, but still, she just knocks it out of the park. It's muy bueno. But the cons about this movie is it's a fun, dumb movie. If you're people like Daddy Frog, he didn't like this movie as much because it's fun, dumb. And if you look at it through logic, it falls apart. Happy! This is like uh, James Bond turning off your brain. And I'm talking about Sean Connery, James Bond, not Daniel Craig. <laughs> if you like those movies, you'll enjoy this. But it's going to be a little bit more dumber because there's a lot of things that are illogical. Stupid, pointless, stylized, amazing, but yet illogical. This genre could be for you. It's a double-edged sword. It's the problem of the fun, dumb movie. It's going to be very, it's not going to be niche, but a lot of people may go, it doesn't make sense. So a lot of the problems maybe do with the movie's genre of fun dumb. Here's another con I just remembered, and that is the post credit scene. When you're done with the credits, there's going to be a mid credit scene. And it does a wink and a nod to one of the director's works, which has me concerned because does that mean I have to watch an entire franchise to understand this one moment of this movie? I'm sorry. If this is true, piss off. I am tired of the Marvel's shared universe syndrome. To have homework to one franchise film to another film. I'm tired of it. End it, please. All I want is just a fun movie. Maybe a franchise that has an ending. I liked it. So that is, I think, probably the biggest con of the movie. So, where would I put it? On a scale of 1 out of 7, I give it a 4. It is what it is. And I enjoyed it for what it is. Other people may not, but it's your cup of tea. But, until next time, this is the Bullfrog signing out. Whatever happened to just making one movie and be done with it?